in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i got scammed on indeed.com if you are interested in hearing my story just keep on watching okay so let's jump right in um, I, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notebook and as I was taking notes on this video, I was like, girl, you really slow. It's no way you didn't catch all these red flags. But anyway, let's jump right into the video. So I put in an application on indeed.com as an administrative assistant. A few days later, I got a message through indeed, um, through the messenger portion and um if you guys have put in applications on indeed you know what i'm talking about they'll send you a message from your employer if the employer is interested in you moving on to the second step of the interview process and so that's what happened i got a message from a company and i'm going to insert this company's website on the screen because i don't even think this website is legit but the company was mark and mary cpas it was supposed to be an accounting firm um and i would be doing administrative work if you guys don't know i do have my bachelor's degree in business administration and the company seemed like they were really interested in me i thought everything was legit because i was going through indeed but i was wrong so so at this point um the guy that i spoke with was mark and he referred me to the mary and mark website which i showed you guys and he was like you need to fill out an application here and then we will get in touch with you about an interview so once i got to the website you can see that the application was very weird very short not the typical application that you would see on a company website but for some reason i totally looked past this thinking that since they reached out to me through Indeed, that everything was legit. I was not aware of all of the scams that are going on through um, Indeed.com before the situation. So I went ahead and filled out the application. After that, about, I wanna say maybe later on that day or the next day, I received a call from him and he let me know that um, he was interested in me for the position and that I should email him a time when I'm available to do an interview. Okay, because most employers will either give you time options for an interview or I've even had employers just call me out of the blue and ask me questions over the phone and let it be like an over the phone interview. I've never had anyone to tell me to email them what time I'm available to do an interview on today. So I still went along with the process and I was like, I can do the interview at three o'clock. So three o'clock came and no one reached out. So I reached out to him and was like, what about my interview or whatever? And so we did the entire interview over text messaging. And I know you guys are going to be like, girl, really? But yeah, we did the entire interview through text and I will insert some screenshots here and you guys will see like the questions were legitimate interview questions and he made it seem to me like that he was a small business owner hence the name Mark and Mary CPAS his name is Mark and um, he doesn't have that many employees and he really needed my help to get things organized. And that's the reason why the process wasn't the typical interview process because he had a lot going on and he just needed help getting his business order organized. He just really needed some administrative help. So that's the reason why things were so at a whack and why we had to text to do the interview and stuff like that. So I went along with it. So at the end of the text interview, 
Um, he told me that I got the position. He was excited to work with me and that I will begin work on Monday. This was on a Thursday when I got hired and that I will begin work on Monday and he would reach out to me Friday to do like some paperwork and stuff like that. So normally when you get a job with an employer, you know, you will set up payroll and tax information and stuff like that. I didn't do any of that with this company. Um, unfortunately, I did give him some personal information, such as my social, um, a picture of my ID, front and back, stuff like that. So if employers are asking for your social, pictures of your ID, like birth certificates, stuff like that, please don't give it to them unless you see some forms or something like that, unless you filled out some type of professional form that is, um, counting you as an employee for the company. Please don't do that because I gave this man all types of personal information only to find out that this company is not legit. I actually did a video call with someone from the company ID me to identify myself. And so this made me feel like the company was legit because I'm thinking I had some red flags and I was questioning all along, but after doing the video call, it's like, okay, this company has to be legit because the person on the other end of the video call seemed really professional and stuff like that. So I went ahead and gave them all types of personal information, like a crazy person to identify myself. Okay, after that, he reaches out to me later on that Friday and was like, I need you to go to Walmart and buy like the Walmart credit cards, a MasterCard, and we're going to use that to um, distribute business expenses to you so that you can get the supplies that you need to begin working on Monday. Okay, mind you, I'm still confused because I'm like, I haven't even filled out any type of forms or anything like that to prove that I'm an employee for this company. But I still went to Walmart and got the Walmart card and he was like, just keep up with all of the expenses and you will be reimbursed. So in order to get the Walmart card, I had to put $20 on the card, but mind you, he told me to keep up with these expenses and I would be reimbursed for the amount of the card and the $20 that you have to put on the card to activate the card. Okay, once I got the card, I set up the card and everything like that. And he asked for the information for that Walmart card. And we agreed that both of us would have information to the Walmart card. And he was going to leave it in my name and let me be the authorized user of this Walmart card so that I can pay for the supplies and things like that that I would need for work. Okay, after buying the Walmart card, he didn't say anything else about it. He was like, we'll get more into what that card will be used for on Monday. Okay, this is Friday, so I'm like, okay, fine. I'm thinking I wouldn't hear anything else from him until Monday. He reaches, he reaches out to me that Saturday and was like, um, I need to get you to do something for me, kind of like put you to the test for work because he told me there would be a two day training process before I would be hired in just to make sure I could do the work that was expected of me. And I'm like, okay, fine. Even though it was Saturday, I didn't think anything of it because like he said, he was um, starting his business. He was a new entrepreneur and he just wasn't organized and he needed to have something done on this Saturday. And so I was thinking, okay, I will be surely reimbursed for my time that I'm putting in on this Saturday. So on that Saturday, he asked me to type up pretty much a um, job advertisement post and to put it on Craigslist. Now I've never heard of job postings on Craigslist. So this was 
very weird to me as well. And I typed up the job posting, which is he's probably using to scam other people like he did me. So I kind of regret doing that. But I typed up the job posting for him and he was like, go ahead and post it on Craigslist. And he gave me some information to use to post it on Craigslist. Okay, this is another red flag. The job posting would get flagged and taken down off of Craigslist because he didn't have an exact location. And I don't know why that did not resonate with me. Like, you don't even have a company location. Although there is a company location on your website, you did not use this location for your Craigslist post. And that's why the post keeps getting taken down. And I, t I reached out to him and I told him that and he was like, okay, it's fine. You know, I'll take care of it. Um, thank you for typing out the job listing for me. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool. And at this point I'm thinking like, this is a scam. I'm talking to my family, my husband, my mom. And I'm just like, this is a scam. You know, I don't trust this like, <laughs> I'm not sure if this company is legit or whatever, but I decided to wait it out because like I said previously, I was desperate for employment. So I decided to wait it out and just see what happens on Monday. Okay, now to the good stuff. This is where even this, okay, now to the good stuff. This is where it gets even more weird. Okay, he reached out to me Monday and was like, all right, I have an assignment ready for you to do. Are you ready to get to work? And I'm just like, sure, because I was skeptical at this point, but I was still waiting to see, you know, what would happen next. Because like I said, I was very desperate for employment. So he tells me, he's like, you have a printer at home, right? And I'm just thinking like, yeah, but what would I need to print working from home, working remotely? Like, I'm thinking, what would you need me to print? So y'all, this man asked me to go to Walmart and buy check papers, checks, to print out checks at home. He would send me the information to put on them he wanted me to go to Walmart and print out checks at home, one for myself and the rest of his team. He said he needed to print out payroll, but mind you, he told me that he was a startup company and he didn't have and he didn't have many employees, hence why he was so urgent to get to work with me because he needed a lot of administrative work done. So now you have employees on payroll and you need me to print checks for them? Absolutely not. So I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, I need you to go to Walmart, get check paper and print out payroll checks for me. And I'm just like, for one, you haven't even really hired me. You have not hired me. We have not set up any information concerning my dependents, my personal information. I'm not officially an, an employee with your company and you're about to print me a payroll check and you're expecting for me to print, to print, you're about to print me a payroll check and you're expecting for me to print payroll checks for other employees for your company. So at this point, I just stopped responding to him because I'm like, obviously you think I'm dumb. There is no way that you want me to print checks from my printer and take this check to Walmart to cash it, to print supplies. I mean, to buy supplies for the company. For one, I'm thinking, okay, if I print these checks and take them to Walmart, I'm getting arrested at Walmart because it's like, ma'am, you just printed these checks at home. And now you finna bring them to Walmart to cash them. And you just printed checks at home and now you finna mail them out, like mail them to him so the check can be traced back that I printed it at home. So I'm like, you know what, at this point, the job search is still on. You are not even worth my time. I'm done responding because obviously this cannot be real right now. This cannot be legit. So, after that, I stopped responding. 
And then later on that evening, I was very upset and I sent him a text message and was like, I don't appreciate you wasting my time. You know, I'm a mother, I'm a wife. I have real life responsibilities and you know, you should be ashamed of yourself for scamming people um, and you know, trying to get people to do fraud with you. He didn't respond. The next morning, he woke me up at like 7 o'clock that morning calling back to back, back to back. Okay. I answer the phone and he's like, I promise you I am not a scam. I understand that you have a family to take care of. I have a family as well. This is not a scam. I really need your help. I'm really interested in um, you working for my company. You should check out my company website. Like, this is not a scam. And guys, he sounded so sincere to be lying. Literally, he sounded so sincere. So I'm just like, okay. And he was like, I need you to do an assignment for me. Can you do that for me? Are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, you know, okay. Reaches out to me later on that day and asked me to do the same thing, to go and buy checks and print them out from home. And I'm just like, are you serious? There is no way this company is legit. And if it is, it's just not the type of company I want to work for where I have to print out my own checks at home. Like, from what bank account? Associated to, to what company? No, ma'am. So, I just didn't respond. I didn't respond. And he was like, he was just being too desperate to work with me. He said he um, texts me, reaching out like, um, are you going to do the assignment? Are you with me? Are you here? Stuff like that. And then he was like, do I just need to terminate you as an employee for my company? And I'm like, was I ever put on payroll? Was I ever really an employee with your company? But I didn't text him back. I just ignored him. But um, yeah, this is pretty much my story on how I got scammed on indeed.com you guys be careful and i also want to say um some red flags to notice are when the employers pay more than the expected amount to be paid for that position and that's what a lot of people told me um after i told them that i had been scammed on indeed but with this employer the pay was right at the same level for other administrative assistant jobs that I saw on Indeed, um, all I want to say is, guys, just be careful out here. Do not be a fool like me and give out all sorts of personal information. If you are having a funny feeling or if the company is giving you major red flags or if you don't know if the company is really legit. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was informative and helpful to someone. My biggest advice would be if you're having red flags, if you're questioning the company, just move on. Just move on. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you have any comments, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you made it to this point in the video, you obviously like my vibe. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.